Okay, here we go. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm having a great day. This is Stinger Rex coming to you with another video. And today, we're going to be discussing what Mattel has done right, and what they have need to improve on. Okay, um, so first I'm going to go off what they've done great with. So that's where we're going to start. So here we go. Um, so first off, the toys look ten times better than Hasbro's toys. I mean, just comparing the T-Rex, the Hasbro T-Rex to Mattel's, yeah, you can definitely see the quality increase. Boom. It's ten times better. Love it. Love it. And again, comparing Hasbro's Raptor <laughs> to Mattel's Raptor, you can definitely see a difference here. Um, the biggest one is the feet. You see the feet on Hasbro's, and then you look at Mattel's. The um, Mattel one has the Raptor claws, while the Hasbro one doesn't. Oh, yep. Then the detail on blue looks great. I love the detail. Um, it's it's just amazing on what they've done with um, what Mattel has done with these dinosaurs. I mean, just the amount of effort and time they've put into them looks great. I love them. Um, they have great articulation, um, great features. The paint um, jobs are amazing. I love them. They look great. Um, a lot of surprising articulation that I wasn't expecting from these guys. And, um, yeah, <laughs> they're really good. And... I can tell that Mattel has put a lot of effort and time into making these. They're just great um, figures, and uh, I just love them. Just love them, and they and they care about you know making good products, not just from the younger people but for the newer people, because they have made you know humans with dinosaurs, just like the classic lines did, and that shows that they're really paying attention and. Um, giving to all of us fans of the Jurassic license. Um, and then they give us vehicles, like the submarine. I I like the submarine. It looks great. Um, hopefully it's waterproof so the water doesn't leak into the compartment and get your figure all wet. That's one thing I never really liked about um, <laughs> um, water toys, especially when you have people in them. It kind of just floods and I want to keep the toys dry. So I love this figure, um, figure this toy the submarine is great. And another thing I like what Mattel has done is that they don't include dino damage on the dinosaurs. That's great. I love that they don't have dino damage on the dinosaurs. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy about that. Um, it's it's great. It's, it's great. Now, they could have done something where you had a little piece that removed and there'd be dino damage, but again, I wasn't a big fan of the dino damage stuff. You know? I have it in my imagination. I don't need to remove a piece from my dinosaur and have this gnarly disgusting thing showing so great job Mattel on that so those are the things that are great about these figures the detail the the sculpts they look beautiful everything is great now we're gonna move on to what they did wrong and how they can improve now again this isn't this isn't these aren't huge concerns just because this is their wave one I'm pretty sure in wave two they can easily fix everything I'm about to d address here. So, and, I, and so here we go. Um, first off, these dinosaurs right here. Um, I I can't read the first one's name. Um, Metalcaratosaurus, Dialosaurus, and Baryonyx. There's something wrong with each one of these. And what is it? The mouths. The mouths are in an open position. That's wrong. The mouth should be in closed position, like the Spinosaurus here. See how his mouth's closed? You press a button and the mouth opens. That's what they should be like. The mouth should not be stuck open and you press a button to close it. Big no. Big no, mouth closed. Period. That's what's wrong with those figures. Alright. And next up, we're going to talk about the gimmicks of these toys. Um... I've noticed this by looking over these dinosaurs. It's a button. Okay, it's a button. You press a button and the head moves, the jaw closes. It's an action that happens. 
The problem I have with this, it's a button on the back of the dinosaur and you just press it. It's not hidden. Um, if you look at just this Triceratops um, toy here, and I have this one, you can't see any buttons. You don't see any buttons, you don't see anything, just the sculpt. These dinosaurs, I don't remember who exactly made these, I'm pretty sure it was Mattel or Kenner, but... Um, or Hasbro, Hasbro or <laughs> Kenner, but this um, dinosaur, his gimmick is you pull its leg and the head goes up and down. But you don't see the buttons. You don't see any buttons, anything like that. So that's what um, Mattel needs to improve on, is they're hiding the gimmicks. Next up, Indo Indominus Indoraptor. Sorry. Now, the figure looks great. Um, now, the things I'm not a fan of already about uh, Mattel's figures is these cuts that they have on these dinosaurs. Um, but we'll get to that later. That's not why I'm concerned about this Indoraptor. If you look at the very front of the Indoraptor's snout, if you look really carefully, you can see that the very tip of the snout is a separate piece from the head sculpt. You, do you see it? It's a separate piece. It's like he's wearing a mustache. This is what Hasbro did with that T-Rex. I don't understand this. Why are they doing that? It makes no sense. <sighs> Fix that. Get rid of it. A solid head sculpt. You don't need to put an extra piece onto it. It looks terrible. It looks ugly. Don't do it. Fix it. Okay. Next up. Now I'm going to show you some pictures here and you um, guess what I'm about to um, address here. Alright. You can't really tell very well. Let's go to the next picture. This is again, but you, you can see the dinosaurs. So look at their the claws. Alright. All right, now look at blue here. Do you do you notice something with with these dinosaurs? Now I'm going to show you the raptor from the Lost World. Okay. Look at blue. Look at the raptor from Lost World. Look at blue, and the other raptor. Do you notice something? Do you notice the difference? The claws aren't painted on blue. None of these dinosaurs have that claws painted. Why? Even. <sighs> Even Hasbro painted the nails on their dinosaurs. They weren't good dinosaurs, but at least the nails were colored. These guys don't have colored nails. And here's why it's a big deal. They look cheap if the nails aren't painted. It's a detail that needs to be there. Okay? That's the big issue here. The nails need to be painted. Period. Paint them. Address it in wave two. Get the nails painted, Hasbro. Mattel, sorry. Mattel, get the nails painted. Okay, moving on to something that I'm pretty sure some of us have been wondering about. Where's the real field dinosaurs? You know, here's the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3, and it's made of rubber. It's that realistic feel skin, and that classic thing that all Jurassic Park figures have had up to um, Hasbro's and now Mattel. And the only one that they've done the real field skin on is... The Mosasaurus. And that's probably because they want to be able to go into water. And this is, I'm saying it right now, is the best toy Mattel has made for the line. And it's not even a dinosaur. It's a marine reptile. That's my, that's why I'm upset. This dino, this marine reptile is the only one that has real field skin. And it's got the best sculpt. Because all of its gears and everything's hidden underneath its skin. Okay? Now... Rexy here has cuts in her. Let me look at this. It looks terrible. It looks ugly. The sculpt looks beautiful, but these cuts look terrible on the figure. Same thing with the Carnotaurus. It's not as bad, but as bad, but it looks like it's wearing a necklace. No, Mattel, no. Look at the original Carnotaurus from Jurassic Park. It's 100% real feel skin. It's all plastic. It's better than this. It's much better. The real feel plastic dinosaurs were great. Why? You got so much articulation from it. You could turn the head left and right, up and down, move the tail, side and left. It had so much articulation. But these guys don't have it. They don't have it. And on the smaller ones, it's understandable. But on the bigger ones, where is it? 
Here's the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. All right. Here's the T-Rex from The Lost World. They both have the real feel skin, and they both look amazing. I know, right? And now look. Now let's look at Mattel's T-Rex. Which one's better? Okay. Which one's better, the Lost World one, or Mattel's? If Mattel's had the real feel skin and looked with this much detail as well, oh my goodness, it would have been an amazing toy and been able to stand up there with the original dinosaurs. But they don't have it. They don't have it. it I'm comparing these dinosaurs to the originals. And right now, the originals beat the new flat out. Okay? Fix it. Fix it, Mattel. Fix it in Wave 2, please. Here's the Bullrex. Okay, now they did do some something similar with this one, but I'm pretty sure this one's a lot bigger and not as well articulated. The thing is, you might be wondering, but there's no articulation in the Bullrex. Um, it's got natural articulation. I can bend the head left, right. I can have it look up, down, because of how the plastic is. It's bendable. It's like our skin. Okay, that's why it's like real feel skin, because your skin can bend and allow your arms to move. The skin works the same way. You can bend that head left and right, just like with the Thrasher T-Rex. You can bend it all around. Ugh, Mattel. You're killing me, Mattel. You're killing me. I mean, now look, here is Mattel's Stegosaurus compared to Lost World Stegosaurus. Which one's better? The Lost World one's better. It's made of real filled skin, and even the part that is hard plastic is made of a soft plastic, and it feels real. Again, this Stegosaurus, you can see the gears. You can see the pivot motions. And that's my main concern with, with these Mattel dinosaurs. You can see the cuts, like with Mattel's T-Rex. You can see these huge cuts in it. If it was all 100% plastic, I mean, real fill skin, you wouldn't see any of it. You could still have those kind of gears, but just get rid, you know, cover it, hide it, hide it. That's my issue here. And, you know, Jurassic Park had real feel skin. The Triceratops was, was real feel skin. Ugh. Mattel, please, please give us the real feel skin dinosaurs. And I know that you're going to do a classics line of Jurassic Park toys, so please make them real feel skin, okay? Please. I want to support you guys. You've done a really good job, but you need to fix these mistakes. And now coming to one thing that has completely made me twitch. The, this is the worst toy Mattel has made for the Jurassic line. I gave you the best, which is the Mosasaurus. Now for the worst. The worst is this vehicle. This is the worst toy that they have come out for with the Jurassic line. And he, and here's why. You know this vehicle? It shoots a gyrosphere and it holds a dinosaur on the back. And the dinosaur presses on the button and shoots a gyrosphere. That makes no sense! Do you know what this vehicle is? Do you know what this vehicle is? Okay, here's a picture of the vehicle. Okay. Um, do you see a gyrosphere in that vehicle? Is it going to shoot out? No. Well, here it is in the trailer shot. Do you know what this vehicle is? It's a transport. It holds people. And I thought this vehicle was going to be some kind of um, transport that you could use with your characters. Like you could have your characters. It's kind of like a storage for your characters. You could hold up to six characters in the back, two characters in the front. And you could store your characters in there. That seemed like a great idea, but nope, not for Mattel. They decided to do something really random. And here's my um, quick picture put together of how ridiculous this toy actually is. <laughs> you see what I did here? This is pretty much exactly what they did with that vehicle. Here's the Jungle Explorer, and it can hold. All right, so this is my idea. If they, Mattel, if you want to make another one of those things, do this. Here's the Jungle Explorer. You can put a dinosaur in the back, and it can press a button and shoot a gyrosphere. That's how stupid this toy is. It's got zero play value. Don't buy it. Waste of money. Buy a dinosaur. Don't buy this. I mean, look at all these great vehicles that the Lost World came out with. Boom. 
boom, these are great vehicles. Make good vehicles for people, you know? It makes sense, you know? If you're going to do a capture vehicle, make a capture vehicle. Don't turn a transport into a capture vehicle. Okay. Now, I did bash on Mattel a little bit for what they've done wrong. But, again, I'm going to say the hope is bright. The, the quality, it looks great. They have different colored dinosaurs. Um, that's going to come out. So you can get a green triceratops, a brown triceratops, different colored ones. And they do care. Mattel does care. And I want to end on a positive here, okay? I did bash them, but that's because I care. I care about these toys. And I want good toys, okay? When Mattel, when Hasbro came out with the toys, I didn't buy any of them because they were all garbage. I did pick up the Pachycephalosaurus for two bucks at a second-hand store. But that was the only one I picked up just because it was okay. And even after I picked it up, I had to fix it because it had bullet holes. And I had to fix it. And I even regret spending two bucks on the toy. I had buyer's remorse for buying it. It was a piece of junk. Ugh, hated that. I, I still hate the toy. But it's not a bad sculpt. But anyways, that's a totally different thing. Mattel has done great. There's a lot of products coming out for it. Um, like blue here, the smoke control blue. I might pick that up. Uh, that looks pretty cool. But again, in wave two, Mattel, just fix the, these concerns. And they're minor. They're so minor. It, it's so easy to fix. So, great products. And I am happy. I am very happy. I'm just comparing them to the original. And as far as I can see, the original blows the new ones out of the water. The original are still better than these ones. But they can be as good as the originals. That's the thing. The potential is here for them to be exactly the same. Okay. So, good job, Mattel, though. Thank you for these incredible toys. They look good. I'm, I'm saying it. I love them. And there are some I'm going to pick up. But there are some that I'm kind of on the edge about. But for the most part, I'm going to be picking some of them up because they are good. I love the characters. I love how the toy figures have articulation. It's great. I love them. Keep the good work, and I know this was a little bit longer of a video, but if you got made it this far, thank you for watching, and let me know, am I, my concerns good, or are they bad? What do you think? Alright, let me know, and again, thank you for watching, and if you want to see more, there's some other videos. Anyways, I'm ranting now. Okay, I'll be having a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day. Signing off. Goodbye.